Right, we're going to talk about the FaceFX License Manager, which is installed with the FaceFX 2010 Evaluation Installer. And it's a very powerful tool that lets us uh, check out licenses onto our machine and share our licenses with friends and, and so on. And so I'm going to log in with a FaceFX.com user account. So I created this account on FaceFX.com. And it's going to show me all of the products that I have installed. I installed the FaceFX 2010 Evaluation Installer which came with the plugins for Max Maya Motion Builder and Softimage. Uh, the, when I click on one of these, it tells me, these tell me that I don't have a license. I actually have a license for the Maya and the Max products, and so it lets me check out the license onto my computer. Uh, if I wanted to purchase a license for uh, a different product, I would go to the Import Licenses button, and I would paste in license information that was sent to me via email. This is a fake license GUID. Uh, but you'll notice I'm copying the entire GUID, the dash, the product name, and the GUID. And then once I import this license uh, it, and install the product, it would show up here and I would be able to check it out. So the plugins are actually fully functional in their evaluation state. You can import and export data, uh, but when you check out the license, it lets you analyze arbitrary data. In the evaluation state, uh, the plugins are phrase locked, so they can only generate audio that says a specific phrase. Welcome to FaceFX. I've always wanted to say this live from New York. It's Saturday night. So I need to select audio that, say that, that says that phrase. If I were to license the product onto my machine, I would check out the license. This product is now licensed on my machine. And I can generate an animation. And I don't get that dialog box, so I can analyze arbitrary uh, audio right from this plugin. That's what the plugin licenses do. They unlock the analysis feature. You can always import and export bone poses, reference pose, import animations, and so on, even in the evaluation state. So that's how you license products. And if you want to share licenses uh, or you want to use someone else's license, um, if I wanted to join someone's pool, I would click on the Join Pool button. And they would have sent me their pool key, and I would enter that here. You find out your pool key from the Administer Pool uh, tab. This is my pool key, since if I wanted to change it because uh, I send it to someone that I no longer trust or that's no longer my friend, I would just hit the New button. And I can see that this person has already requested to join my pool. I sent them my pool key, and they clicked on the Join button. Uh, they can't use my licenses yet because I haven't approved them, but once I click on Approve, uh, they are now a member of my pool, and they can check out licenses just like I can. Nothing forces them to return these licenses, so unless I really trust them, you might want to set an expiration date on your license. Um, so if I put in 1440 in minutes, that is a full day, and that will expire any licenses that get pulled from this license pool after one day. So now I'm confident that anyone who checks out my license uh, it's going to be returned to me within one day. I can always remove them from my pool and they will no longer be able to check out licenses and after a day I'll have all my licenses back. Uh, that's a brief introduction to the FaceFX License Manager and if you have any questions you should check out facefx.com for other tutorials and documentation on this.